Fouls on Galbraith and Havato for the Stingrays. The puck is dropped by referee Hicks. And the game is underway from the Hull Arena. The Panthers will try and bring it in down the right side. Benedict just left it behind momentarily. Jameson gets it out as far as Havatu has to take the hit. Galbraith trying to get in behind Wild. Wearing the full face cage after the puck came up and hit him awkwardly and broke his nose last Saturday against Dundee. Puck chopped to the corner. Lawrence is there to it. Stingray's close in, but Wild moves it around. And here's Lee, a former Stingray himself. Carried it all the way through, but Benedict has been caught offside. Didn't get out of the zone in time. And we have the first whistle. Now Farmer. Drops it off the Perrant, and the shot into the body is saved and held by David Brown. We had a good third period against the Dundee Stars last Saturday, 16 saves. We feel the Stingrays will need him to stand tall again tonight as that one came through a crowd. And this one was a little more awkward to save and hold. Ruby again checks his options. Landry forward, touched on by Lakovic. That'll allow the Panthers to change their D. Lozon can't get it down the boards. Sent right across, and the save is made. The light came on, but the puck didn't go in. A little too quick on the trigger, the goal judge. But Brown made the save as the Panthers were sneaking in. Take another look at that on the replay. Sure, we'll see the red light come on as Wild sneaks in, but the shot does not find its way under David Brown. Best chance of the game so far for the Panthers. The Panthers will try and make the most of it. Higgins can be so tricky. A little give and go. Now room for Mosey to wind up. The save is made. Lakovic is to it. And Brown dives forward and gathers it in. Played around by Landry. Jacina. Nice touch from Lozon. Backhanded to Galbraith, Barubi's the only man back. Galbraith goes for the shot. And it's blocked by the skates. <laughs> and we have a stoppage because we have a piece of plexiglass which has fallen out over on the far side. We've now got a little bit of pushing and shoving in the corner. So it looked like we might be in for an extended delay here. We've got a piece of glass that needs replacing. Hopefully it'll be a quick and easy job. The ring technicians are on their way. Long shot deflected and Brown did really well to readjust and kick it away. That's a super stop off a big deflection in front. Jacina holds off his man for just long enough. And he collides with Chilcott. Farmer, Mosey, kept it in the zone, big slap shot, and the save is made by David Brown. But it was the one he made earlier on that shift. That was the best of those two. Moving towards his right-hand post and having to readjust. It is indeed two for roughing. On Osman, Stingrays just need one clearance. Or he just to tie the puck up for a few seconds. And that should see them through to the end of the period. And indeed they do. And the Panthers will have a long power play. At the start of the second. We're still scoreless here at the Hull Arena. Clark moving in and shoots wide. Might have fancied himself to do a little bit better there, David Clark. It was a good position. And that puck just trickles wide after it hit Osman's skate. Puck is still loose in front, the Stingrays need to get it clear. They can't and they're grateful for Brown to cover up. Benedict takes a tumble. Panthers pass across. Must come out of the zone, but they'll quickly come straight back in. Benedict, Yasina, right across and a goal! 
the Panthers have the lead. And it's a power play goal for Lawrence. Absolutely smashed in. And Brown could not get across to it in time. Barber. Final ten seconds of man advantage. Here's Higgins. Wilde's got a lot of room. Gives it back to Higgins. Wilde gets it back. Shoots. And it's kicked away by Jameson. So we're back to five on five. The glove save is made by Brown, and he's not happy with the attentions of Farmer. Seems like every game here, Robert Farmer seems to get himself involved in something. Oh, he tried to send it back into traffic, and that means there's room for Higgins. Can he find the pass? He drags and takes the shot on and scores himself! When you're Chris Higgins, you don't need anyone else. Lovely move. And a finish over Brown. Slowed by injuries at the start of the season. That's the Chris Higgins that the Belfast fans saw all of last term. The Panthers can carry it down the ice with Graham. Aggressive from Graham, moves it all the way in. What a goal by Graham! Short handed. Around Pasha and past Brown. And the Panthers have scored three in eight minutes and taken complete control of this game. Higgins down the left side, Galbraith comes across and has taken him down and is going to get a penalty for that. Came in from a long way out, took him down. And he'll serve a tripping minor. Oh, the penalty's coming on Turcotte. Stingray fans aren't going to be happy with that, but I think he's going to be a boarding minor. And Farmer is going to have a fight with Turcotte. This could be a mismatch. If Turcotte can get himself freed up. He had a good scrap last week, Jan Turcotte. And Farmer will take a sit down. Turcotte wins that little battle. And Turcotte has got another penalty to serve. Galbraith got his stick to that, and Galbraith is going to break in, moving in short-handed, Eric Galbraith, oh, what a play from Benedict, that's superb from Brandon Benedict to get back and knock the puck away, and Galbraith never got his shot off. I feel he's on course for the Panthers' Man of the Match award, although in truth plenty of Panthers players have had games to be proud of, here's Benedict. Shot is kicked away and then hammered in by David Clark. It's not a Panthers visit to Hall without a David Clark goal. And this one's made it 4 0. And Stingrays that blocked the shot in front of. David Brown, and he could have fallen anywhere, but it falls to the forehand of David Clark. You're in a real trouble. Lakovic across, Higgins. Oh, I think he was going to try and pull the same move around Pasha that he pulled earlier in the game, and that's just showing off. He won't mind that he gave possession away straight after, because the Panthers have won, and Matthias Modig has his first Elite League shutout. The Panthers are 4-0 winners at the Hall Ice Arena.